thank you all for coming out. Uh, apparently, there's some people who are having trouble understanding our message. I'd like to be clear on that today, that we're going to be here through the November election, and we're going to be here to win. Now, um, there may be some negotiations, uh, but they don't include me. Uh, we have uh, essentially before us a choice of two Americas. The America that I represent is an America that has more freedom and more jobs. An America with less bureaucracy, big government, and less taxes, and a bright hope for the future. The America that Claire McCaskill has given us is an America that has less freedom less jobs, more big government, more taxes, and the same stalled economy that we've observed for the last three plus years. Thank you all so very much. All right, we're going to take five questions. Congressman Aiken, how much did you agonize over this decision? How much hard thinking, how many sleepless nights did it take for you to come to this conclusion? Well, uh, as I talked about uh, during uh, our election, try to work on an idea of principle. It seems to me that over a period of 15 plus months, eight of us traveled all over the state. We had almost endless Lincoln Day dinners, barbecues, debates, <laughs> and um, and uh, we uh, were out spent in the media by a, sig a significant number of times. And uh, when everything ended, we were six points ahead. And, uh, that was an election, and I was the nominee. Can I have one follow-up? How bad was the pressure that you felt over the last four days? Well, uh, we try to just stick with what's the right thing to do. And uh, that's pretty much the way we looked at it. But uh, we've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you, how do you, care, how do you characterize the pressure and the large number of Republicans from multiple points of view within the party asking you to step aside. Is it um, a setup, or are they trying to push you aside for some other reason? Is it a conspiracy? Well, you know, one of the things I've realized over the years, uh, I may not be the favorite candidate of uh, some uh, people within the Republican establishment, but um, the voters made a decision and uh, this is an election, it's not a selection. Uh, Congressman, what, what do you think your candidacy says uh, to other candidates who may be under pressure in either party to step down, which has happened before, but you've become under the most intense scrutiny I've ever seen? But Joe, uh, it's, it's pretty much back to that same point. Uh, I think that uh, what we have to do is look in our own hearts and stand up for what the principle is not the politics. I believe that maybe America's gotten into trouble because we pay too much attention to politics and not enough attention to principle. Thank you. Uh, I, 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 I just want to know if there's anyone or anything that could make you change your mind. And I, and I also want to get your thoughts on these threats that Capitol Police are taking seriously. There's some uh, threats that have been directed at your family. Anything or anyone, family, God, anyone that can make you change your mind. Well, uh, first of all, when Claire McCaskill would withdraw and give the election to me, that might uh, be a consideration. Um, and there have been, uh, I think, part of your question involved the idea of threats. And uh, I'm not allowed to talk at length about those, but there have been threats uh, of both on life and on rape. Uh, and the FBI is looking into those things, but the um, House rules don't allow us to discuss them. And if you wanted to, you could go to the district office and, and get whatever they're allowed to give you. Congressman, can you last question. Question. Anything, could anything last you change your mind? Go ahead. Congressman, can you run a normal campaign after this? Will you be making campaign appearances? And how will this, this experience of the past week change all that? Well, if you think about it a little bit, about 15 months ago, the party wasn't supported. And uh, we went out and made our case to the, to the citizens of the state of Missouri. And um, we took our message to them, and we tried to give them a vision of hope and what this uh, America has always been and what it can be. That it can be a nation where, where there's 
more freedom. Well, what do you do, sir, between now and election day? Well, we, we campaign the same as we have in the past. It's pretty straightforward. Campaigning is campaigning. What about the NEC party? What about the damage to the party, sir?